Kendrick, you have a really unique vantage point on all of this. You and Russ were teammates for parts of five yeah. seasons. So what do you view this opportunity as for him? Well, you know what? It's a it's a reality check. And I don't disagree with 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 uh with Zach. I don't disagree with Shanae. But this is, let's look at the overall picture for us, Russell Westbrook and his career, right? And the path that is going down. He has to this is an opportunity for him to change the narrative about that he is he can't be a piece or a missing link on a title contender. Mm -hmm. And when I say that, meaning he has to be able to embrace this role, be able to take a lesser role. It's no knock on what Russell Westbrook has done for the game of basketball. He's a future Hall of Famer. But it comes to that point where you have to face reality and say, you know what? I'm not the player that I used to be. That don't mean that Russell Westbrook is not a... That don't mean that he's some type of scrub. He still is a hell of a basketball player. He's just not who he was when he was winning the MVP and putting up those triple doubles. Mm. And that's okay. Because right now, the league is on notice. And every general manager is talking. Every general manager is watching to see if Russell Westbrook could buy into a bit, uh, taking a lesser role. So this is not just... Good. This is not just a, a, a thing for the Lakers and for Russ. This is for his overall career. And me, the love that I have for Russell Westbrook as a brother, him being the father of one of my, of one of my, the godfather of one of my children, I got nothing but love for him. But this is reality. We all face it at some point of our careers where we have to take a lesser role and we have to, you know, face reality. And this is where he's at with it right now. Well, let's bring Adrian Wojnarowski back into the conversation because I, I think the natural question for a lot of fans is, is this a precursor for anything else? Woj, does this impact at all Russ's future with the Lakers? Yeah, Malika, the, the Lakers uh, at some point here will start engaging teams again on possible Russell Westbrook trades. They, they paused it essentially uh, at the start of training camp. Um, and I think, you know, typically most teams, it gets a little quiet here as teams – are putting their rosters together, making their cuts, and then seeing what it looks like playing preseason games. And certainly, you know, there's an opportunity here for Russell Westbrook uh, to to get integrated with his group and that second union, the second unit, uh, it seems. Uh, but I think ultimately, the Lakers still armed with those two first round picks, future first round picks, uh, and Westbrook's expiring contract. You know, would like to go out and improve this team certainly before the trade deadline and I think you could expect them to start canvassing again at some point once the regular season starts. Interesting. So we will definitely be keeping an eye on that. Woj, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Hey, what's up guys? Jack from Jaggy Sports. October the 14th, Lakers play Sacramento tonight. Undefeated at Sacramento. Sacramento Kings. I, I never thought I'd say that, but it's the preseason and maybe they might make the playoffs this year. But the biggest drought in NBA in terms of playoffs is the Sacramento Kings. So maybe they might change. They're undefeated. We'll see. The story is Russell Westbrook, right? Russell Westbrook, it's been announced that he is coming off the bench. I've never, ever, ever seen Russell Westbrook come off the bench. So is this a sign where Russell Westbrook is actually following Darvin Ham's request? Because they talked about it, right? They talked about, hey, I want you to lead the second unit. Make the second unit a very powerful unit and have a very good bench. So we'll see, right? Like, I've been, <laughs> I've been saying this for the last year, basically before they uh, like before they started playing him full time in uh, in the preseason last year i said get this dude off the bench because he can actually bolster their bench and you know uh, add more depth add more uh, add more um, firepower off the bench but that didn't happen with frank vogel but with darvin ham i hopefully something happens uh, he's supposed to come off the bench tonight, but I want to tell you guys something. Brian Windhorst, over the summer, I was listening to a podcast, right? He basically said this. Basically said, Russell Westbrook's 
um, days as a Laker could be numbered. And why is that, right? Just like Brian Winter says, why? Why is that? Because Darvin Ham is basically checking off boxes. He's actually doing something saying, okay, Russell Westbrook, we're going to try you in the starting lineup. If that doesn't work, we're going to try you off the bench. If that doesn't work, I've tried two things already. If that doesn't work, we're going to send you home. That's what Brian Windhorst is saying. Uh, so far, he's correct on two out of the three things that he basically just said. And, you know, um, if you take a look at uh, the clips, Russell Westbrook is saying after after uh, being talked about why did you not join the huddle he said well it's easy uh, you guys uh, didn't see the actual clip i was talking to the coaches but you know you can make excuses all you want i guess you were talking to the coaches i'm not 100 percent sure you should have been in the huddle um i don't know what's going on there um okay fine you were talking to the coaches right but what about the time when pat beverly tried to get you to come into that uh, huddle in the game and you flat out denied him right and anthony davis had to say hey come on come on let's go let's go let's join the huddle so you know you can make excuses all you want but at the end of the day that's exact exactly what happened so you could just tell that uh he is not a hundred percent happy playing in LA he's only doing it because he wants his money and at the end of the day Brian Windhorst could be right Brian Windhorst could be right if this does not work out tonight him coming off the bench Russell Westbrook could be gone home could be sent home to sit at home and do nothing tell me what you guys think do you think Russell Westbrook will be sent home if he does not perform well on the bench? And him coming off the bench, right? Does he actually bolster that bench? Does he actually, you know, do fairly well? Can he win sixth man of the year? I don't know, right? Like, he's got to adapt. He's got to be flexible. Um, like, any anything in life... Depending on the situation, you always got to be flexible. You got to be adaptable to the situation itself. If you can't, then the game is just going to pass you by. You know, um, just ask Carmelo, Carmelo Anthony that, right? He wasn't flexible and adaptable, but now he is. And therefore, he got a second shot last year. I don't know where he, what he's going to be doing this year. I don't think it's right for coaches to, uh, like teams, not to pick him up. But he's got to learn to play defense, right? He doesn't play defense, so that's what it is. Um, yeah, leave a comment in the comment section. Will Russell Westbrook provide a benefit to the organization, to the Lakers, by coming off the bench? And if he doesn't, do you guys think that he will be sent home? Not tonight, but like in the future, right? Leave a comment in the comment section. Jag from Jaggy Sports.